forgot. Actually, what happened? I told the lady. I don't know if she's talking about the number. I mean, I don't support what the dude did, but at the same time, we went to the gas station, and then when we came back, that's that stuff already happened. And then she was like, she removed her phone, started recording, and he was there. I mean, the dude already been gone. He was not there. The dude hit her with the bread. That dude already left. So we were like, hey, what, what do you want us to do? We can. We already called the ambulance, so the police were on their way, and it was, she was there. So. A lot of people, a lot of people trying to hate on y'all on lies, talking about why did y'all help and why did y'all call the police, and so y'all did call the ambulance. Yeah, we did call the cop and the ambulance. And crazy stuff. Me and my homeboy, we didn't want to stay there until the police pull up. But she did lie and say that nobody helped her when these men actually did call the police in the ambulance to get her the medical uh, attention that she needed. So that, that's not cool. Even though she was being combative, she, they even said she was being combative even with getting medical attention. So it really, the plot is thickening. TikTok has banned her TikTok, okay? So she had to start a whole new TikTok because so many people were reporting her page, all those pranks that she did, hitting all those men they reported each and every prank in which it was a lot of pranks they reported as harassing and bullying so her page got taken down okay there's a lot of single mothers whose baby daddy left them with 10 kids you included that were bitter in the comments that were calling me all type of names you know, it's so funny it's so funny that we i have a lot of women in the comments advocating for women but they're threatening and wishing ill on my mother, wishing ill on my daughter, like, wait a minute, my daughter and my mother are innocent, so if you guys are all for women, why are you guys wishing ill on other innocent women? See, that's what I'm saying, it's all y'all bitter single black mothers on the comment section is talking, talking out of your asses, literally. You guys don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys are not watching the full videos that I'm posting. You guys have already made up your your mind about the situation. Hey, how you guys doing? We got some more updates on the woman that got hit with the brick, okay? We have more men that are coming out. Yes, more men that are coming out. The other man that was a witness, he has more to say as well. So you guys remember here, just a couple of days ago, this lady uh, came out screaming and yelling, saying that it was some a man that hit her with a brick. She said that um, she did not want to give him the phone number and uh, he could not take rejection, so he hit her with the brick. So let's fast forward to this, okay? Okay guys, so do you guys remember this? Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. Hey, and they don't give a fuck. Hey, brother, brick yeah, this, hey, man, this man hit me fucking with, grabbed a rock and he hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. Now, remember when I told you guys that we were waiting for more information? Well, we got some. Now, what do I mean by that? The same men who were there went live to tell their story. And this is what they had to say. Fuck you. What's up, y'all? Oh, what's up, boy? Yo, uh, actually what happened, I told the lady, I don't know if she's talking about the number. I mean, I don't support what the dude did, but at the same time, we went to the gas station. And then when we came back, that, sh that stuff already happened. And then she was like, she removed her phone, started recording. And he was there. I mean, the dude already been gone. He was not there. The dude hit her with the bread. That dude already left. So we were like, hey, what, sh what do you want us to do? We can we already called the ambulance or the police were on their way. And it was, she was there. So, a lot of people, a lot of people trying to hate on y'all on lies, talking about why did y'all help and why did y'all call the police? And so y'all did call the ambulance. Yeah, we did call the cop and the ambulance. And crazy stuff, me and my homeboy, we didn't want to stay there until the police pull up. Thank you. So y'all stayed there and waited with that girl until the police pulled up and people up here saying that y'all didn't do nothing. Y'all just stood around and did nothing. Exactly. So the Italy looked like we did something bad. We was there with the ladies. That's what I'm saying. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. I swear to God, I can't make this shit up. God. Girl, I'm the chosen one. Tell her stop playing with me. Y'all up here. They actually have that. So I guess we're just... Now, did y'all hear that? These are the actual guys in the video that were saying, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? All right. So these are the actual men. So they stated that they didn't see what happened before the ambulance were called. So we still don't know what happened. But she did lie 
and say that nobody helped her when these men actually did call the police and the ambulance to get her the medical ten uh, attention that she needed. So that, that's not cool. And I am going to apologize sincerely that I said that no one helped. So I'm glad that you men came forward. I'm glad that you cleared your name. I'm glad that you gave us the details that we needed because there's another eyewitness that said he was there, but he didn't provide the information that y'all did. So I appreciate y'all for coming forward and helping this woman um, get the medical attention that she needed, even though she was being combative. She, they even said she was being combative, even with getting medical attention. So it really, the plot is thickening. We really need to know what actually happened, no bullshit. But again, I want to sincerely apologize to you men. That was wrong of me for not saying that you helped and you did. So I'm glad that you stepped up. I appreciate y'all. All right, so I just want to give you guys a taste of uh, different people's perspective out here. Can we get some more likes? Make sure y'all subscribe here at the Messy Sweet Spot so I can work for you. I can get on these reports, okay? Uh, so you guys remember him. So he is coming back and he has something to say. And I will play his first video at the end of this commentary. Check this out. There is a lot of single mothers whose baby daddy left them with 10 kids. You include it, thou bitter in the comments, thou call me all type of names. You know, it's so funny. It's so funny that we I have a lot of women in the comments advocating for women, but they're threatening and wishing ill on my mother, wishing ill on my daughter. Like, wait a minute. My daughter and my mother are innocent, so if you guys are all for women, why are you guys wishing ill on other innocent women? See, that's what I'm saying. It's all y'all bitter single black mothers on the comment section is talking, talking out of your asses, literally. You guys don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys are not watching the full videos that I'm posting. You guys have already made up your your mind about the situation. I'm sure even this video, only a few of people, only a few people are actually going to watch it and hear what I'm saying. So stop being bitter before you post something, actually watch, do your research, and, and listen to what people are saying. You are just bitter, you can call me names all you want. But if I had died, how long will you have your mama me for? How much will you have sent my mom on Cash App or Zelle or Venmo? How much? If I had died, who would have been there for my family? You don't understand? That's what I'm saying. Like, you ain't got nobody, if you ain't got nobody to go home to, if you're willing to go out in public and jump in front of a bullet for, for a stranger, that's on you. I'm, me, I'm not finna jump in front of a bullet for everybody, let alone a brick. And how dumb was she to stand there and get hit by a brick? Are you talking about the police? First of all, somebody did call the police. And why are you talking about me? Where was her friends at? Because she was there with her friends. I didn't see her friends jumping in to protect her. I didn't see her friends going up to her and counseling her. Where was her friends at? How come nobody's asking that? Where was her friends? And how come you're not thinking? Out of 20 people, why did nobody have the need or feel the need to go and protect her? Because not everybody was men. There were also women there. If women are, are, are for protecting each other, how come no woman jumped in? How come no woman called the police? How come no woman went up there and went, sister, calm down, leave this man alone. You don't want him to do anything that you can, you will regret, and he will regret. Sister, walk away from this situation. How come no woman did that? There were women. It wasn't just guys. It wasn't just hanging around a bunch of 20 dudes. There were women there. Black women too. So how come nobody's talking about the black women that were there? So before you say something, Check yourself first and check the story and listen. Because like I said, you're just bitter. You're just a bitter single mother. That's what I'm saying. Like, with your age, it's too late anyway. You won't be able to find a man to take care of you and your damn kids anyways. Whoa, y'all got it. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Hit that like button if y'all like this stuff. Now, we still got some more. We got some more. Like, this whole situation, it wasn't even about a number. You got to realize it, it was late at night. Everybody's drinking, having fun. Like I said, like, she... She likes playing, playing pranks on people, trying to get a rise out of them. You know what I'm saying? Like she, that, that's what she does. And um, for example, like even like my Ethiopian friends who I was there with knows like, especially like she's really, uh, she's a big, big, big advocate for the LBGT community, which I think is really great. 
but she tried to sometimes, especially in her community, what what I've seen firsthand, she trying to provoke people with that because you know most Africans did not with that if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? They're not with it. So she tried to provoke people. And that's what happened in the situation. It had nothing to do with her, uh, somebody, her refusing to give somebody her phone number. No, that, that wasn't the case. It was more of her always provoking. And, and, and in person, I have seen her. I, when I was around her before, I have seen her literally talking down on men. And I've also seen her making videos talking down on men. So she, so she have no respect for men whatsoever. And that's why most people were surprised when she got hit. She's talking about how come nobody is, um, nobody, nobody is um, defending her. And and somebody said like, she have friends. She have friends there too. How come her friends didn't jump in to protect her? You know what I'm saying? Like how come nobody, like nobody was questioning the fact that out of you know 20 plus people, nobody step up to help her. That alone says that alone says something. You know what I'm saying? That alone is something. Out of 20 plus people, not even one person, not even her, her friends, not even her female friends, not even her male friends, nobody step up to help her. Why? Because everybody knows that's what she wants. That's what she looks for. It's for the attention. It's for both people to get a reaction out of people. And like I told somebody earlier, like. She got what she wanted because now she's basically famous because everybody's literally talking about her. Like that's literally what she wants. Like and and even and and even like for the people that don't know her personally, for the people that don't want to believe me, even if you just did a Google search or a Twitter search and just look at her old YouTube, uh, her old videos, all she did was try to provoke people to get a reaction on the people. That's who she is. And now she got what she wanted. Wow. Okay, that is a lot. Okay, uh, so let's go with his first original video, and after this, we're gonna play her whole original video. For those that you guys that need to catch up, make sure y'all subscribe here at the Messy Sweet Spot and click and like and share. Let's see. Right. I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know you guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend who you guys are trying to speak up for this is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets she's not innocent she was actually taunting the guy to hit her why would i go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble this woman she is literally a troublemaker Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos, taunting people, looking for a reaction. Well, she got what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually thinking for. I don't regret not setting up for her. If you look at all the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserves that. But at the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's not as innocent as she trying to portray herself to be. She wants attention. She's an attention seeker woman. She tried to go viral and you guys have given her what she wanted. Yeah, she get, yes, she did get hit by a brick. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And if that shit happened again in the same circumstances, I will watch. Because she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resulted in picking up a brick and hitting him. I don't condone that type of behavior. But once again, she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. If I just seen this man hit her in her face with a brick. Now, if I go up there, I potentially got to get hit in the face with a brick too. Who the fuck? Bro. And I know y'all gonna be like, oh, men are supposed to be protectors. I am a protector. For immediate protection for my family and kids, right? But you can't be mad. You can't say somebody's not a protector just because they don't want to get hit in the face by a brick for somebody that they don't fucking know. I know it. I was one of the guys who was there. Girl, look like all these men feel the same way. Okay, so let's go to the original uh, video. You know, this is how it all started. And just so guys let you guys know, TikTok has banned 
her TikTok, okay? So she had to start a whole new TikTok because so many people were reporting her page, all those pranks that she did, hitting all those men, they reported each and every prank in which it was a lot of pranks. They reported as harassing and bullying, so her page got taken down, okay? So it looks like the guy is saying that she was playing a, a gay prank on, I guess, somebody uh, trying to advocate for the LGBT community and uh, things took a wrong turn. That's what I'm gathering. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm gathering from what I'm hearing. Um, so let's play her video. And even though that, it does not deserve a brick to her face. You know, nobody, no, that was wrong. So hopefully they find the guy and, um, you know, he gets some, got some prison time. All right, so let's continue on. Let's play. Make sure y'all like this video. Share the video. Step a brick in front of so many men. It was like, what are you gonna do? And I told him, yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't give a Yeah, this man, this man hit me, he grabbed a rock and he hit me in my face because I wouldn't give him my number. And all y'all just watch. What you y'all see that? you y'all see what y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man. Do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and they don't give a. Yeah, this man, this man hit me. He would grab the all these men like yo. Why this man got a brick on my face? And he's he's holding a brick. And all he's is watching, and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face, and then they're all just watching. And they let that get in the corner. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? What have I ever done to me? Like, don't understand. Like, I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago. Like literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody. Like what the kind of shit is this? I'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food. And like I'm literally like, why is this busted up on me like this? And I'm looking at all these they literally let this do all of this. They let this like really like do all of that. I never thought it was gonna happen, yo. Like it's so whack. And he's gonna get away with it. He got in the car. He got away. He never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? For what? Like, all this violence against black women is not okay. Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, how? what is my defense against this? I mean, like, don't understand. Like, I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago. Yeah, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I got to take it slow for a week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's going to give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother. I still got to teach. I still got to work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people want to kill me. I can't even chew food. The next week, <sighs> I had a vacation that I booked six months ago for my birthday. I'm so afraid. Like I'm so afraid. Like why do people want to hurt me so bad? <laughs> I really love my community, and just to know that like people hate me to this level. This kind of level of violence. It's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. All right. So it looked like she feels that she was targeted because she did not want to give out the number and because she's a black woman. Well, comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. And I will see you guys on another video. You know, I'm always kicking out some videos, y'all. All right. I need y'all support. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. And I will see you guys on another video. Bye.